I am seeing lots of confusion everywhere. Well, LinkedIn and learning technology shows and stuff like that about what SCORM is, okay? I'm seeing a lot of experts talk about SCORM and they're wrong. There we go, there we have it. And that's why I'm creating this video. I'm gonna tell you what SCORM actually is. So SCORM, for those of you who don't know, SCORM is um, something that essentially tells a learning management system, a LMS, that a person, so Alan Dixon, me, has started a training course and that they've finished a training course. There we go. That's what SCORM is. Quite simple, really. To put it in um, put it in even more simpler terms, imagine you're going to one of those traditional classroom-based training sessions, if you can remember them from all those years ago, and there's a trainer or a teacher at the front with a register. SCORM is essentially the register. SCORM is the thing that says, is Alan Dixon here? I'm, I'm here. Ticks it off. And then SCORM is the bit that says Alan Dixon left the uh, training session halfway through because he had a dentist appointment. So he didn't actually complete the training. So there we go. That's what SCORM is. So SCORM is the bit that just says, you know, this is the piece of training. Alan Dixon has started it. Alan Dixon has finished it. That's what SCORM is. Now, the reason I'm telling you that is because there's lots of experts out there who, uh, first off, talk about SCORM in some kind of magical, mystical, witchcraft, you know, voodoo kind of thing of, you know, SCORM. Yes, I do know SCORM. It involves me in Articulate Storyline and most of the other tools I've ever used. Clicking on a button that says SCORM and pressing OK. Um, it doesn't get much more complex than that. It really doesn't. And people can big it up to be something more complex, but they're wrong. It's not more complex than that. That is SCORM. The other reason I'm talking about it, and this is the thing that's the pet peeve for me, as are people saying, you know, SCORM courses are long, SCORM courses are boring, SCORM courses are this, SCORM courses are that. No, 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 no. The e-learning course that someone's created is long or boring or whatever it can be. Just because it's got SCORM applied to it, it doesn't make a difference. It's still the same content. In the same way you can say books are big and books are long and books are boring and books don't have many pictures in them. And then I can go and find one of my children's books, which is about four pages long and just full of pictures. It's got nothing to do with SCORM. All SCORM does is say that Alan Dixon started reading that book or e-learning course and Alan Dixon's finished that book, e-learning course. Also, with SCORM, well, put in other context, with, with e-learning, e-learning can be one page long. And e-learning can have a video in it. It could be just one page. So you click on it, you launch it, it opens up, it auto plays a video. And then when it finishes, you finish the course. And because of SCORM, that can then be tracked. And it says that your, you know, your LMS, your learning management system knows that Alan Dixon did that piece of SCORM, i.e. he watched the video. And uh, then he's completed it. That's all it is. Because I've seen people before, I've seen things on LinkedIn where people are saying, you know, SCORM versus bite size. Well, bite size is just a short thing. SCORM can be a short thing as well. A SCORM e-learning course could last for approximately one second if you really wanted to. That sounds pretty bite-sized to me. It could also last for five hours, and it's the same with a video. So people are saying, you know, what's better, SCORM or video? Well, videos are a lot shorter. Have you watched the Lord of the Rings trilogy? That's nine hours there. That's a video. There's no difference, okay? So SCORM is, and please, if there's anyone out there who's, who's got some learning development manager who's disagreeing with us, send them my way. SCORM is just the way of tracking that someone has completed it. In fact, I'm going to show you on a course. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to find a e-learning course. I'm going to open up Storyline and show this. Like I say, this could be for anything. So I'm going to publish a course, and in publishing a course, I'll pick that. I want to go to the LMS or LRS, and you got this little tick box that says Report to an LMS. I'll tick that. Now, Scorn 1.2 has already been chosen. I could also pick SCORM 2004, AICC, XAPI, CM5, or CMI5. Now, no one goes around and goes, well, it's an AICC course. Or they don't go around and go, 
Oh, what's better, Byte Size or XAPI? No, 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 no. Anyway, to make this a SCORM course, yeah, tick that box, SCORM 1.2, publish. Oh, I don't want it to be SCORM. Untick that box, publish. It's the same course, it's still 8,000 slides long, or however big you made it. Just tick the box, press publish, job done. And also, by the way, the only reason you're zipping it is so that at the end of it, because as the other one are going, well, SCORM courses are zipped. No, it's just because your learning management system needs the files all gathered together. Because when you have a course, normally it's made up of absolutely tons of files. It's got all the images in there, it's got the audio in there, it's got the video in there, it's got everything else in there. So you zip it just so it's in one container. That's all it does. And then you upload it to your learning management system. So, for future reference, what is SCORM? SCORM is the thing that says that Alan Dixon started the course, completed the course, on this particular topic and it goes into the learning management system that is what it is SCORM is not length of course it's not how good a course looks it's not how informative a course is it's nothing else it's just a method of recording much like a register in a classroom based training anyway that's my rant over with SCORM it's been annoying me for a long time that has if you want to know anything about else about uh, training e-learning videos, IT tips. I've produced tons of videos. I'll keep on producing them. Feel free to uh, to watch the videos. Like the videos, subscribe to the channel. I am clearly a fountain of knowledge of all things SCORM. In other words, I know how to tick a box and press publish. Um, so please do subscribe to my channel. I'll keep creating the content. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy SCORMing. Now you know what it is.